ピカチュウ I remember it so vividly, like a recurring dream. I just turned five when I saw an adorable caterpie chomping on daikon radishes in our vegetable garden. My father was about to fetch his pitchfork to chase it away, but I pleaded with him to catch it for me instead. We instantly bonded. From that moment forward, Caterpie and I shared meals, went on walks, and held exclusive tea parties in my father's tool shed. I hoped those days would last forever. But I woke up one day to find that my Caterpie had gone missing. Instead, I saw a strange green pod sitting at the foot of my bed. I screamed until my father rushed to my side. I told him that my friend had disappeared and that a strange pod had broken into my room. My father chuckled and told me that my friend hadn't gone anywhere and pointed at the ugly creature nestled over my blanket. I was not in the mood for his silly jokes. I vowed to abandon my father in a retirement home in the future and burn all the precious sports memorabilia he owned. I put aside a few things and set out to search for my Caterpie. Unfortunately, the ugly creature that broke into my room followed along despite all my efforts to lose it. It tried to cuddle next to me when I was resting under a tree. It cried softly when I refused to share my food. I picked up the creature and threw it across the forest, but it managed to find its way back by dragging its body across the harsh terrain. It made me angry, but my concerns over Caterpie trumped over my emotions. When I woke up the next morning, the weird green creature was gone. Instead, a large butterfly greeted me as if it knew me. I was immediately offended and shooed the creature away. The butterfly tried to embrace me as it fought back its own tears, but I shoved it away. I didn't understand why all these Pokemon were suddenly clinging on to me when I was busy searching for my friend. Eventually, I tossed my remaining food at it. While it happily ate my last remaining jelly donut, I tossed a Pokeball to capture it. Then I threw the Pokeball in a nearby river. It's been 32 years since that day and I still have yet to find my Caterpie. I'm not sure what the life expectancy of a Caterpie is like, but I haven't given up hope. I'm Fargo Robbie and this has been another episode of Pokemon Facts. Stay tuned for more factual Pokemon Facts. Have a wonderful Pokemon Day. And if you happen to see my Caterpie wander into your vegetable garden, please contact me. But I won't be reimbursing you for the vegetables it might have eaten.